broker Ravi Shay. Oh, Come into the city only to do this deal, so it better be good. My customer wants Nats, ASAP. I'm in the middle of my wedding arrangements, but I came here to do this business with you. Who are you getting married to? His name's Chaim. Chaim in the mood <laughs> for love. So where's my invitation for your wedding? Did you invite me to your wedding? Oh, I wish I had. Twenty-five years I've been trading with Hasidic people. I know nothing about them. They know nothing about Jain people. Strictly business. We don't come to 47th Street to chit-chat. While you inspect the goods, I'm going to eat. Excuse me. Hmm? You can't eat meat, right, you Hindus? No, no, no. We are no Hindus. We are Jains. Hinduism is too materialistic for us. No meat, no fish. And what can't you eat? No pig, no shrimp. What else can't you eat? No onion, no garlic. No milk and meat together. No potato, no roots. Nothing that hasn't been blessed. Nothing too spicy. It is exciting the passions, you know. The Christians, they eat everything. They're like the Chinese. They never have to spend too much time picking a restaurant. That's why there are no Christians in the diamond market. How can you trust a person who will eat anything? This parcel's not so good. At least 20% rejection you've given me. How much? A parcel of kidla? One for net us. Five hundred fifty. Too much. Way too much. I give you four eighty. Why are you doing this to me? My children will be crying at home. Because after I do business with you, I have no money for food. I can't make commission on this. Five forty? Maybe I can give my children some dry bread. Let's check with my customer. My customer says too much. No, he doesn't. I know you understand Gujarati. That's why I lied. And I know you know I know Gujarati. And I know you know Yiddish. I was speaking to an answering machine. Five twenty. As a wedding present. Mazel. I'm sorry, I, I can't check your hands. I'm not allowed to touch any man who isn't my husband. Mazel. And mazel for your wedding. Mazel for the dozen children you'll soon have. Thank you. Is that your children? Munish and Farish. Where's your wife? Oh, she's not looking that good in the photographs these days. Why? Last year she decided that marriage was a sin. Now she's in India with her head shaved, going door to door, collecting food in the bowl. She used to be my wife. Now I have to worship her. Don't worry. She's not the only one without hair. I have to shave off all mine this morning because I'm getting married tomorrow. This is a wig. Why? What is so wrong with women's hair anyway? Why you all want to cut it off? They wanted me to cut it off on my wedding night. I said, no way. Yeah. It took 25 years to grow. 10 minutes to cut off. And now, for the rest of my life, I have to wear some other woman's hair. For all I know, you could be wearing my wife's hair right now. What do you mean, your wife's hair? Most human hair in America comes from our temples in India, where women offer their long locks to God, so that they can be sold to the West and you can have your wigs. Suffice to give tired men hope. Not the trumpet in this neighborhood. What is this? 